Hi there. Another day, another subscription prompt. Frustrating, isn't it? Especially when you're just trying to help your child with a Spanish learning app so they can learn. Hola, mi nombre es Elena. I'm Bill, and after teaching languages for a decade, I understand the frustration of testing expensive apps only to cancel them a month later. Today, my daughter Selena and I will give you an honest inside look at a kid language learning app called the Spanish School Bus. Then you can decide if this could be the money-saving solution for your child's Spanish learning journey without compromising their learning, of course. But sometimes the best solution isn't always the most expensive one. Hello, today I'm gonna review this app that is called the Spanish School Bus. Put my heart on the line, begging you to be mine. You can't be left alone in despair forever. Over here, if you are a beginner, you can use these. This is uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. If you know a little bit more, you can go to vocabulary, numbers, and verbs. Yes, the app is easy to use because there's not so many things in there, like Duolingo. Uppercase letters. Ah. This tracing feature can be useful for those letters that don't follow the English alphabet. You need to write it. Ah. I think the app is for beginners. I don't think it's for experts. And here are the numbers. Zero. Zero. Yes, it's fun because they have coloring and music videos to look at if we are bored of learning. This is vocabulary. Ocho. Ocho. You need to pick Tres. the card what, the, what, what number they say. Seis. Siete. And you get points here. Are there any features you wish the app had that it currently doesn't? I want to color by number in that app, but they don't have it. They have only normal coloring. Personally, I don't like the color part so much because it can easily lead you into a different avenue. Here are the numbers. Over here are there is for beginners. These are a little bit harder and more things to do in here. Dos. Dos conchas. You need to choose Tres. one. Choose one of the pictures. What num? What the num? What they say. Does the app offer any form of progress tracking or reward system? Yes, they have reward systems. They have points, and you get a badge if you have enough points for that badge. These are the achievements that you can have. If you have 1,000 points, you get one badge. I don't think they have any chatting on the app with friends. The best that we get points to have badges. Sometimes it may be difficult. The vocabulary sometimes is difficult difficult. Compare the Spanish school bus app to the Duolingo app. I think Duolingo is better because it's more fun. They have more things there. How well does the app work on your device? Have you experienced any technical issues? I didn't have any technical problems with that app. Now you have seen firsthand how the Spanish school bus app works and 
there's something even bigger coming up. You might be surprised by how much money this app could save you compared to the subscription giants like Duolingo. Plus, I got a special comparison guide that will show you features we couldn't even fit in this video. So who's this app really for? Let's break it down. But first, if this app comparison saved you from another subscription trap, hitting that like button tells YouTube to show it to other parents facing the same challenge. So please consider also subscribing if you would like more similar content in the future. Now, if you got a little preschooler in your house, especially if they're just dipping their toes into Spanish, the Spanish school bus can be very good. Here's the deal. It's a bit heavy on the fun and games, which makes it perfect for kids who aren't ready for intense stuff yet. But I'll be straight with you. Here's the sweet spot. If your child is between three to seven years old, especially if they're just starting out, the app can really work. For older kids, you could be better off looking elsewhere. But here's where it gets really interesting. If your kid's already learning Spanish at school, this app could be great for just repeating and reviewing what they learned in class. And remember that subscription headache we talked about earlier? Here's the good news. The Spanish school bus is completely free to start with. When you're ready for more, you're looking at maybe $50 to unlock everything. But think about it. If your kid is taking their time with Spanish, this could save you hundreds of dollars compared to those never-ending subscriptions that <laughs> yeah, most of us hate by now. Now let's talk about what really matters, the features, right? While Duolingo might have the edge in most areas, the Spanish school bus has one standout feature you won't find with Duolingo, so that is letter tracing. This is super helpful for kids learning those Spanish letters we don't have in English. To see exactly how these apps stack up feature by feature, I have created a detailed comparison chart for you. No subscription needed, I promise. It's completely free. Just grab it from the description below um, it'll help you decide which app matches your child's language learning style and budget. And if you're wondering how Duolingo stacks up for older kids, that's exactly what we're covering in our next video. Please let us know in the comments if today's review helped you make a decision for your child's Spanish learning journey. Bye-bye, see you in the next video. Like! Is Duolingo Max worth it for kids? Duolingo Max costs more than double compared to Super Duolingo. So what's the deal with these fancy new features? Number one, explain my answer. That's emphasis. Number two, practice hub. Number three, 